Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. Today we are going to show you how to install some cosmetic mods. Last time we did the quality of life mods, but now we're going to do cosmetic ones. We're looking at the hollow mod today. Uh, I was using the hollow live mod previous, previously, and um, this one seems to feature the same characters and stuff, but it seems to be a bit more in depth. They have actually full art, what appears to be ghost cards and stuff too, which was not a thing uh, in the other mod. So I'm interested to check some of this stuff out. Some of the merch is done too. Like we got plushies and all kinds of cool, interesting new designs and stuff to check out. So we're going to be downloading this one as an example. This should work with any mod that requires texture replacement specifically. There are other mods that add additional card packs, but that's a completely separate thing. I don't know if we're going to talk about that one today because I don't think this is one of those mods. But let's uh, let's hop right to it, shall we? So obviously we're going to need to download this if we want to use it. You know the drill. Go to manual. It'll tell you that you need Bepinex and Texture Replacer. Uh, go ahead and download it. And then obviously Texture Replacer is another mod you're going to need. So go ahead and download this. Now this, uh, this tutorial is... Assuming that you've watched the last tutorial and you already know how to download Bepinex and you've already done it, if you have not, go back and watch the last tutorial to figure out how to grab Bepinex. It's not rocket science. You you just go to the Bepinex one and download it just like all the other ones. Okay, so now that we have Texture Replacer and the Hollow Mod downloaded, let's go ahead and take a look at our files here. This right here is my TCG card sim folder. This is where I keep all of my TCG mods. And over here, let me get back to the directory. This is your game directory. We talked about this before. Right click your game in Steam, go to manage, go to browse local files or and you should be good. That'll take you right to your game directory. And then we're going to go ahead and first install Texture Replacer. Here's the Texture Replacer zip file right here. We're gonna go ahead and unzip it and extract it right directly in the folder that it's already in. All right, and once you have Texture Replacer unzipped, it should be right here with the folder. You wanna go into Bepinex, you wanna go to plugins, and then you're going to open up your texture replacer folder and then you're going to put the texture replacer dll directly into the bepinex and plugins folder now that you have that in there that is installed texture replacer is ready and you are ready to replace textures so first thing we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and boot up the game now that texture replacer has been installed and we're just going to immediately close it afterwards now this is not always necessary whenever you install new mods but it's highly recommended that you do it sometimes because there are some config files and other things that are populated only when you boot up the game first so in order to make sure we have everything that we need we went on ahead and booted up the game uh, after we install texture replacer and then we're going to go ahead and close it down all right the game has been booted up and closed back down now we're going to grab the hollow mod right here and we're gonna go ahead and unzip that. Might take a little bit longer with these uh, cosmetic packs because there's a lot of files involved in that. So if it takes a little longer, don't freak out. It's still doing its thing. All right, so now that that's done, we have our hollow mod folder right here. We're gonna go ahead and click Bepinex, plugins, texture replacer, and we're gonna take the texture replacer data here and we're gonna put it into this folder, the texture replacer stuff over here. So. Go ahead, grab this and drag it over. And once that is transferred, you wanna go ahead and open object data, check to make sure that stuff is in here. So this is the figurine files, object meshes. These are all the meshes for, I'm assuming, the figurine files. And then the textures are what you're really looking for. These are all the cart and box and everything else textures. So these are gonna be located here. You just wanna make sure that everything is here and it's visible. You can see all of the unique stuff that's changing in the object's texture file. And as long as you can properly see everything in there, then it should be installed correctly. Now there's another file called Card Shop Simulator Data, and this is actually located where the Bepinex folder is also located. So we're gonna go ahead and take this and transfer this over to uh, go ahead and replace files at the destination, and then you should be good. And let me, let me just go over it again, just in case anybody got lost. So here's your directory. This is your, your folder where you downloaded your cosmetic mod. You can either take this and drag it directly over into the root um, directory file here, or like I, like I did, you can open up Bepinex plugins 
and take the texture replacer folders here, Bepinect plugin, texture replacer, and drag these over individually. Either one works. Like everybody keeps telling me that both both works or whatever. I'm just more comfortable doing it this way. I like to I like to know that my files are going exactly where I want the, to place them and nothing is going wrong. Uh, just for, you know, whatever sake. I don't even know what to really explain it as, but I just like to make sure. So once you do that, like I said, you should be good. Make sure you transfer over the card shop simulator data and that should go there. Now, if everything is done correctly, then we should be able to see changes when we boot up the game. So let's boot up the game. First thing first, immediately at the screen there, you can see that it looks like everything was changed but we have to actually go into the game to find that out for sure so we already have the hollow mod logo at the at the front of the game so that's that's a good sign that's usually an indicator that you've done it correctly we got the hollow live card here which is a pretty good indicator that everything is working uh, properly all right and here we go we got the hollow live tables oh here are all the plushies we got little gura and all these other little plushies oh wow we got mori and ame and everybody Everybody seems to be here. There's Fauna, I think. Yeah, looks good. Ina. Uh, all right, and the box arts for the for the boxes and the cards have all been installed. They all look really good on the redesigns. Now, one thing I'm really curious about is the ghost cards because the ghost cards still looked like they normally looked, but it seems like some of these ghost cards didn't quite or don't quite look as they should. All right, so this this pack is definitely different than the, uh, the hollow pack that I was using initially. A lot of these pictures are a bit different, but I mean, you can still tell who the characters are and all that good stuff. Like it's it's not dramatic, but it is, it is definitely different than what I'm used to as far as the card pack that I had. I might actually go back, go out and install the one I had that got updated because I heard that one was a little bit different too. Okay, yeah, here are the Destiny ones and we got some pretty pricey ones in here that look pretty good. Okay, all right, that's, that's interesting. So here it is in all of its glory it looks pretty good everything is pretty much in working order with the exception of the the ghost ones but i don't think this is a glitch or an error i think these cards just have not been finished yet uh but for example's sake uh we're gonna check out the other mod too and honestly, like if you if you came to see the installation and you wanted to check out this mod or whatever, and you've seen what you've come to see, uh, now would be the time where you can just kind of leave because the video is pretty much over at this point. Uh, but I am going to do one more experiment to see how the the Hollow Live mod that I was using initially has evolved and changed. So if you want to see that, you can stick around for that. But for everybody else, you pretty much got what you came here for. Uh, so if you're going to be leaving the video and not sticking around, then thank you for watching thus far. Uh, for everybody who's going to be sticking around, uh, this will be a good example for you to see how to properly uninstall a cosmetic mod that you have already installed and place a new one in there. So. First things first, we're gonna go to Bepinex here, plugins, and we have our texture replacer right here. This is the the um well the the object data and all this stuff in here. This is all the new stuff that we did download. So we're actually gonna take this and we're just gonna delete them. All the data, all the meshes, all the textures. They're just we're just gonna delete and they're gone now. So those are gone. All those changes that you just made are should be gone now. And then now what we're going to do is we're going to go into our downloads folder where we download all of our mods. And uh, I'm gonna grab the Hololive mod. This is the updated one, not the old one that I was using before. This is uh, this has been updated and they've added a bunch of new things. So here we go. Let's go to Hololive mod, X plugins, texture replacer. And as you can see, these three familiar folders are back. We're gonna drag them over into the texture replacer folder where the other ones were. And now we have new data, new meshes, new textures. There shouldn't be anything, uh, well, a ton of, oh, I guess they did add figurines and they must have added some different cards too. So that's cool. Uh, but the textures are obviously what you're really looking for. These are what's going to be replacing all the other textures and, uh, yeah, it looks like they definitely updated this because it this did not have all of this stuff before. So I'm interested to hop into the game and see what's going on with this. Apparently they got figurines and stuff too, so that'll be cool. Let's check it out, shall we? Oh, okay. All right, that looks pretty good. Okay, 
I really like that. All right, so let's load the game and load our previous game save and let's check this out. Now, I don't know if they actually mess with any of the ghost cards at all. Uh, a lot of the mods I've been looking at, especially the cosmetic ones, have not really been touching the ghost cards, which is unfortunate because those are the ones that would come out the coolest. But OK, so yeah, I like that. That that looks better. It's it's thematic. And then you got the, the placemats right there. Oh, yeah, this poster over here has changed. It's now Hollow Live themed. It's pretty cool i like that uh all right so let's head into the store here let's take a look see around and see what's going on here oh so instead of instead of like actual plushies these are like nerdoroids or whatever like just like little figurines that's kind of cool ah okay i see that's actually really cool though i didn't expect that so they took all the plushies and turned them into like little figures that's cool Oh, that's weird. You see that? There's a little visual glitch on these guys. Oh, because they're overlapping. Okay. Yeah, they're overlapping a little bit. Okay, that's not like a that's not like a huge deal. But okay, uh, a lot of this stuff has changed though. Oh wow, did they even they even did the board games? They even did the board games. Holy crap! All the posters are different. The pack designs. Oh, they they changed these too now. Okay, these were these were actually uh, still standard last time. The uh, the Destiny packs did not get a change before, but they've they've actually changed too. Uh, are the cards pretty much the same? Yes, the cards are the same. I do recall these. Uh, but here we go again. Uh, some some of of these uh these ghost cards are they have like these really cool and elaborate art styles or whatever that look really good but it, it appears that a lot of them are just not done yet so i guess uh these these are all a work in progress they're still being updated or whatever a little unfortunate but i mean you know it is what it is the game's gonna be out for a while and they got plenty of time to work on this stuff but that does kind of lower the appeal overall of the uh of the ghost cards in general uh because you know you want them to be all visible and working now maybe hold on maybe hold on let me uh there is a possibility that some of these cards could actually get their proper art if they went into the book ah here we go okay so it seems like these cards were not properly displaying in the case but they might actually properly show up in the book and some of these are probably duplicates i actually have a lot of duplicate ghost cards believe it or not i know that's not really hard to believe honestly but we're gonna take all these ghost cards and put them back in the folder here and i think that'll make them mostly visible mm, see this was probably the case with the last one too i didn't think to do this initially but this might not actually be an issue then um if you do if you decide to download either one of these mods or whatever and you place these cards back into your folder uh or they, they'll probably be in there anyway then you might not have or encounter the issue that i did but yeah here these are all the ones that i have but as you can see apparently i have a lot of duplicates how do i have 13 of these i have 13 of the same one i got 11 of these holy crap okay so false alarm on that a lot of these are unique uh, all of them are really i just had a lot of duplicates i didn't realize i had so many though like genuinely i had no idea oh wow this card is gone significantly down in price this was my this was my twenty thousand card and it is a uh, it has gone down quite a bit either way this is what i wanted to show you guys how to set this up and you can swap them out pretty easily now the the other cosmetic mod in this game is a mod that basically goes into the files and it unlocks it unlocks um card packs that you technically should not actually have uh access to and um I, i'm probably gonna do a video at some point on how to properly install that one when i get a chance because i haven't actually installed them myself but i'm a little iffy about the idea of installing things in the game that unlock content that you don't have access to that for some reason out of all things i know people are like oh you use mods or whatever but like for some reason that's my line where i'm just like eh I don't want to like go into the files and be unlocking content that the devs have not actually released yet. I don't mind altering already existing content, but like going in and unlocking things that you were never intended to be using or seeing at this moment feels that actually feels wrong to me for some reason above uh, like all other things. So that's just my personal holdups however you feel about it is however you feel about it but i might just check it out for the sake of showing you guys how to get it installed and how to set it up but outside of that that is the cosmetic mods for a texture replacer that's pretty much how you get them 
installed and ready to work. And I also showed you guys, if you're still around now, how to delete an existing one and install a new one. So there you go. Hopefully that was helpful for you guys. I know it was a little bit long winded this time, but I wanted to make sure I got all the information out to you guys. Uh, thank you so much for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed it. I will see you guys on the next one.